Hi everyone, Wynn Claybaugh here and welcome to our 18th year of fundraising. I can't tell you how happy I am to say those words after the year we've been through. In our Palm Mitchell schools, we were challenged to stay connected and switch gears to continue our programs in new and different ways. But guess what? In spite of COVID and after just five weeks of fundraising, our Palm Mitchell schools raised over $852,000, bringing our 17 year total to over $22 million. COVID reminded us about what matters most in life, family, friends, and helping others. As we often say in our schools, when faced with a challenge, we can choose to get bitter or get better. COVID gave us the opportunity to become better and stronger than ever before, which brings us back to fundraising. Some people say we might not be able to raise money for people in need after such a difficult year, but they don't know you. This planet needs so much hope right now, and this is our chance to send a strong message of hope by showing what we can do. Last year had plenty of dark and scary moments, but here's some really good news. We're not in 2020 anymore. We're out of the woods, we're out of the dark, and we're off to show the world what the industry with the biggest hearts and the most creative minds can do. In the past 17 years of fundraising, Paul Mitchell Future Professionals and team members, just like you, have raised over $2.1 million to help cancer-related charities such as Fran Drescher's Cancer Schmancer, Pancreatic Cancer Action Network, City of Hope, Bright Pink, and the American Cancer Society. You donated over $1.2 million to help Lisa's Care Connection provide skills and support to caregivers, and you've given more than $700,000 to support animal health and rescue through Morris Animal Foundation, American Humane Association, and Best Friends Animal Society. Your efforts have literally put roofs over people's heads. You've donated $350,000 to help Habitat for Humanity provide homes for people in need, and you've raised $935,000 to help the Gary Sinise Foundation support veterans, first responders, and wounded heroes. In the fight against sex trafficking and slavery, you contributed $425,000 to CAST, plus additional funds to several organizations working tirelessly to help trafficking victims in Cambodia, India, and Honduras. Because of your passion for helping children, you've raised over $1.5 million to help Children's Miracle Network hospitals, over $1.1 million for Food for Africa, and $950,000 for No Limits, which brings the priceless gift of language to deaf and hearing impaired children. Our $550,000 contribution has helped Thirst Project fund water projects in 13 countries, giving more than 500,000 people access to safe, clean drinking water for life. By supporting the Andrew Gomez Dream Foundation, you provided educational opportunities for countless cosmetology students and cosmetology related programs that educate and serve the wonderful people who join this industry. In addition to raising money for our national charities, many Palm Mitchell schools include local charities and their fundraising campaigns. Over the years, you've raised over $730,000 for local animal rescue shelters, mental health organizations, clubs for boys and girls, shelters for victims of domestic violence, and many other causes that you and your school leaders are passionate about. Are you ready to join this incredible legacy and make a difference again this year? This year's campaign will support 10 national charities. First up, the Andrew Gomez Dream Foundation. Founded to honor a successful Palm Mitchell School graduate who struggled against mental illness and to tragically in suicide, the Andrew Gomez Dream Foundation helps cosmetology students, graduates, and cosmetology-related enterprises. Our contributions have provided unique educational opportunities for thousands of future professionals. We've helped Beauty Changes Lives provide cosmetology scholarships, and our support of the PBA Disaster Relief Fund ensures that funds are immediately available, literally within days, to help cosmetologists 
after natural disasters like wildfires, tornadoes, and hurricanes. Your contributions have helped Sister Bonnie's Franciscan's Haircuts from the Heart provide cosmetology services to homeless men, women, and children. And you've helped several organizations teach the craft of doing hair to survivors of sex trafficking in Honduras, Cambodia, and India. When we started fundraising 17 years ago, our very first partner was the Emmy Award-winning TV host and one of the nicest women in Hollywood, Lisa Gibbons. After losing her mom to Alzheimer's disease, Lisa wanted to help caregivers and families as they answer the question, now what? After a diagnosis of Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, or other illness or disease, through their free programs and services, Lisa's Care Connection offers strategies and solutions to help family caregivers cope. Hi team, it's Lisa Gibbons here. Let's just start with this. I love you guys, every one of you watching this right now. We appreciate you so much and we love being part of the team. And you know, we have been since the very beginning. In fact, all of you extraordinary future beauty pros in the Paul Mitchell schools have donated over a million dollars to our work. What? That's remarkable. This year, it's meant even more. It's meant an actual lifeline for our families who had more anxiety, more depression, more isolation than ever before. Thanks to you, we were able to offer basic humanity by giving people what they needed to get through to brighter days. Alzheimer's and other chronic diseases don't care how overwhelmed you are, how scared you are, how dark your world can be. But when we come together to battle these diseases, thanks to you, we're bringing people out of the shadows. We're giving them ways to fight back, to survive, to know that even as memories are stripped away, a heart never forgets. Your hearts have never forgotten. Look at what you have done. I mean, wow, just wow. We thank you, we love you. Food for Africa is committed to supplying at least one vitamin and mineral enriched meal each day to the children of Southern Africa, where the HIV AIDS epidemic has left more than 11 million children orphaned. We've fed an average of 12,000 children every day for a total of more than 30 million meals since our partnership began. I may have traveled 13,000 miles on behalf of 200,000 hair stylists that represent John Paul Mitchell systems throughout the world, and on behalf of all of our future professionals that raise money to help these children. This is just one of the groups of about the 17,000 children that are fed every single day. Many of these children here are orphans. Some are not orphans, but their parents are too weak to care for them. They have AIDS or other diseases, so they must come here to be taken care of. You know, some little children with smaller children on their back or next to their side. These little kids happen to be head of household. They run the household and they're little children. Before I leave here, I'm gonna make sure there's a new roof put on your house, Mama. <laughs> Mama says that even in that little three, four bedroom house there, she cuts 150 kids, the roof leaks because there's a lot of holes there with the tin oh, that they had first. Yes. So Mama, before I leave, you, you've got yourself a roof. Okay. Oh, hallelujah! <laughs> And that's what it's all about. Humans, good people helping other people because success unshared is failure. For more than 30 years in her role as co-founder of Children's Miracle Network Hospitals, Marie Osmond has led the way in raising over $5 billion. Yes, that's billion with the B to help make sure that every child receives the best possible care at 170 children's hospitals across the U.S. and Canada. Please welcome our good friend and longtime partner, Marie Osmond. Hi, Paul Mitchell, future professionals and team members. Welcome to my dressing room. 
<laughs> I just finished a show. I'm Marie Osmond, co-founder of Children's Miracle Network Hospitals, which is an organization that raises funds for 170 premier children's hospitals in the United States and Canada and treat 10 million children every single year. I just wanted to acknowledge each and every one of you for your great big hearts and the commitment that you have to raise funds for children's hospitals. Thank you. Our hospitals have received over $1.5 million from you to help sick kids live healthier lives. Our children's hospitals have been on the front lines, especially during this pandemic. They've been open 24-7, 360 days a year to provide high quality, compassionate care that sick children and adults need, but they can't do it alone. That's why your fundraising is absolutely critical, even more than ever. When we fund children's hospitals, we transform how we meet the most urgent needs, saving more lives and protecting our collective future. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for changing kids' health and changing the future for all of us. God bless you, I love you all. We love you too, Marie. 2020 was CAST's most challenging year as the pandemic threw human trafficking survivors into crises. This year has solidified CAST's commitment to its values, grounded in diversity, equity, inclusion, and justice, driving CAST to take bold action to support survivors and end human trafficking. I can't believe I get to introduce this amazing woman the new spokesperson for CAST, Nicole Scherzinger. Hi guys, it's Nicole Scherzinger and I am a proud ambassador of CAST, the Coalition to Abolish Slavery and Trafficking. CAST is a Los Angeles-based social justice organization that is ending human trafficking through education, advocacy, and empowering survivors to be agents of change. The organization serves survivors who are trafficked from over 70 countries around the world. One of the top three countries where women and children are recruited from is the Philippines, a country where I have deep roots. I've seen firsthand how your support has changed the trajectory of survivors' lives at CAST, and I want to thank you. Between the pandemic and escalating racial and gender violence, it was a year of deep crises. These crises were that much deeper for human trafficking survivors. They lost their jobs, health care, and homes, further jeopardizing their safety and stability. CAST stepped up and provided more intensive services than ever before, with a 185% increase in urgent human trafficking cases. CAST placed 98% of the survivors in safe housing, and nearly 80% of graduated clients are now either employed or attending school. Without supporters like Paul Mitchell Schools, this would not have been possible. Because of you, CAST is there for survivors when they escape the traffickers and have direct access to trauma services, housing, and more. Thank you, Paul Mitchell Schools, and all the incredible future professionals for raising over $425,000 for CAST's mission over the last five years. Your support is literally changing lives. You are an inspiration to survivors who are counting on us for their freedom and renewed hope in humanity. God bless you all and thank you. Together, we can end this. The Gary Sinise Foundation was established under the philanthropic direction of award-winning actor and humanitarian Gary Sinise, who has been an advocate of our nation's defenders for 40 years. We joined forces with the Gary Sinise Foundation in 2011, and our donations have contributed substantially to the dozens of RISE specially adapted smart homes that have been completed or are currently underway. In fact, our total donation of $935,000 since 2011 would be more than enough to build an entire smart home for a wounded hero and his or her family. Hello, Gary Sinise here. I just wanted to take this time to say thank you to everyone at Paul Mitchell Schools for your support of the Gary Sinise Foundation. With your hard work, we have been able to support the men and women who serve and sacrifice each day for our nation's safety and security. 
Your generosity helps support our numerous programs from providing warm meals at airport USOs and military hospitals to building custom smart homes for our nation's most severely wounded service members and supporting the surviving children and spouses of our fallen heroes. So thank you all for what you've done to support our mutual mission of service to our freedom providers, first responders, and the families who sacrifice alongside them. With your continued commitment to the Gary Sinise Foundation, we will continue to be there to serve those needs for many years to come. Thank you. Thirst Project is the world's largest youth water organization. In just 12 years, Thirst Project has mobilized millions of students and young people who have funded water projects in 13 countries, giving more than 500,000 people access to safe, clean drinking water for life. Please welcome Thirst Project's founder and our good friend, Seth Maxwell. Hey, Paul Mitchell Schools family, Seth Maxwell here, founder of Thirst Project and now Legacy Youth Leadership. The reason we created Thirst Project is because right now on our planet, there are still over 600 million people who just don't have access to basic, safe, clean drinking water. What that means is that around the world, women and kids will walk from their homes to ponds, rivers, swamps, open, unprotected sources that are shared with animals. And then drinking from these sources causes people to get really easily preventable waterborne diseases. Most people don't realize that diarrhea and dysentery actually kill more kids every year than HIV and malaria combined. Over more than a decade, we've worked with millions of young people, students, future professionals just like you, who are working to build freshwater wells in communities around the world that need it most providing over half a million people with safe, clean water for the rest of their lives. Thank you so much for your generosity and support. Over the life of our partnership, you have donated over $550,000, allowing us to provide more than 22,000 people with safe, clean water for life. The vision for 2021 is to raise over $3 million just for a thirst project that'll build brand new freshwater projects giving over 120,000 people safe, clean water for life. And you guys are a huge part of that vision. We believe that young people are the most powerful agents for social change in the world, period. And this year, with the launch of Legacy Youth Leadership and our school programs, we're working with more schools and students than ever to help you change the world. Last year, for every dollar we invested in our school programs, students raised $2.30 for freshwater projects. So with your help and support of those school programs this year, we can more than double the number of people that you give safe clean water to. Thank you so much for your incredible continued support and friendship. I promise you we do not take it for granted. I love you and I cannot wait to see what you do this year. Best Friends Animal Society is dedicated to ending the killing of dogs and cats in America's shelters by the year 2025. In fact, we've worked with Best Friends for many years, and some of our Palm Mitchell School team members and graduates have volunteered at the sanctuary. Working collaboratively with shelters, rescue groups, other organizations, and with all of us, Best Friends is determined to end the killing and save them all. Founded in 1984, Best Friends Animal Society is a leading national animal welfare organization dedicated to saving the lives of dogs and cats in America's shelters and assuring that they find loving, permanent homes. In addition to running pet life-saving centers around the country, Best Friends operates the nation's largest no-kill sanctuary for companion animals in Kanab, Utah. Our pioneering programs and campaigns are rooted in the idea that each animal is an individual, each with a life worth saving providing spay-neuter services to pets in underserved neighborhoods, creating innovative adoption programs, working nationwide with local governments to ensure humane legislation for dogs and cats, and fighting puppy mills are just a few of the ways we're saving lives. Best Friends partners with rescue groups and communities around the country, and with caring people like you, to reduce the number of animals entering shelters each year. And by making a gift today, you're part of these life-saving efforts. Thank you for caring about homeless animals. Together, we can save them all. 
Through its national theater program and educational centers, No Limits for Deaf Children and Families teaches underserved deaf children and their families the skills to succeed in school and in life and promotes awareness and advocacy worldwide. No Limits fights for an inclusive and equitable education that removes systemic barriers for children with special needs and marginalized populations. No Limits encourages deaf children to dream big and know that they can achieve anything if given the opportunity. Our Paul Mitchell fundraising campaign is an important part of providing this vital and well-deserved opportunity. Please welcome our very dear friend, the amazing Kathy Buckley. Hey, future professionals, Paul Mitchell to school, my amazing team leaders. It's Kathy Buckley here with No Limits. No Limits is celebrating 25 years of providing services for deaf children and their families, teaching them the skills to succeed in school and in life, but more importantly, to dream big. Because of your $950,000, we've been able to provide these services for families that live in poverty at no cost because of you. This year has been difficult for many, many people. But you know, it didn't stop No Limits. Because of your support, all of our kids, they were able to continue this piece of language. Uh, uh, yes! I heard you! We have more classes now than ever to keep the kids connected. I even taught a comedy class. And because of that remote learning, No Limits has expanded to 45 states and many countries more than ever. We are the only program in the world that provides these services for these families. They would never have had this for their kids if it wasn't for you. So thank you for loving us and loving our children, but more importantly, thank you for being a part of our family. Thank you, Paul Mitchell. <laughs> This year, we welcome our newest partner, the Boris Lawrence Henson Foundation. This foundation exists to normalize and improve access to mental health services for African-American communities. The foundation has built its reputation on demonstrating a deep understanding of population health and a timely response to challenges by deploying relevant initiatives and programs. Your contribution will provide resources and support to increase mental health services in black communities across the country. I invite you to learn more about our partners on their websites and in our 2021 fundraising idea book. Now that you've met our 2021 partners, it's time for all of you talented future professionals, school owners, team members, alumni, and industry professionals to get out there and dedicate your passion and creativity to this year's campaign. I can't wait to hear all about your creative ideas, your discoveries, and the fun you have as you work together to make a better world. In fact, I look forward to meeting some of you in person at our fundraising gala at the Beverly Hilton in Beverly Hills, California. The first 100 future professionals, team members, educators, and alumni who individually raise $3,000 for the fundraising campaign will attend the gala on Tuesday night plus a day of hands-on education on Wednesday with three amazing educators. You'll learn from five-time Naha winner, Redkin master artist, top educator, and celebrity stylist, Ruth Roach, international trainer and platform artist, Fern the Barber and Dong, a Paul Mitchell graduate and superstar barber and cosmetologist, and our makeup and aesthetics winners spend their time with celebrity makeup artist, Deborah Dietrich, whose credits include Academy Award-winning films and more. Qualifying for the first 100 is an amazing opportunity to give back, make a difference, and learn from the best of the best while attending the gala in Beverly Hills. But don't just take my word for it, watch this. My name is Madison Yeager. I attend the Temple of Paul Mitchell Partner School and I'm one of the first 100 contest winners. My name is Cami Armstrong, and I'm currently a, a student at the Temple of Parmentual Partner School in Frederick, Maryland, and I am one of the first 100 contest winners. What motivated me to raise the money for this charity is that I love helping people and giving back to the community. 
wanted to help with the success of the charities that we were donating towards. And number two, I saw it as a great opportunity to seek education in Beverly Hills. When I first found out about the first 100 contest, I figured everybody would kind of jump in and jump on that boat, and I thought spots would fill up super fast, which they did, so it was really exciting when I found out that I was chosen as one of the first 100 contest winners. I did not think I was going to be one of the first 100, um, but I worked really hard to present the opportunity and say yes. The charity that I raised all of my money for was the Children's Miracle Network. The reason why I chose the Children's Miracle Network is because um, help kids live healthy lives, really. The greatest takeaway that I had from this experience was one, it felt good helping other people, and number two, I got to learn from it. The other first 100 winner from our school is one of my best friends, so we had a blast in Hollywood. I did get to meet Miss America at the gala, so that was a pretty cool opportunity as well. My gala experience was unique. I was very starstruck, um, just because I heard all of the people that were attending, and. A lot of them are idols that I've looked up to, and a lot of them I just learned about this past year, um, but it was still cool nonetheless. Let's see, I had a few fangirl moments. Um, when Berlin took the stage, that was like a setback, throwback, way back. John Paul, obviously. And Angus Mitchell, that was kind of cool too. Um, I don't know, I had a lot. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for all of our donators that made this journey possible. We really appreciate it for allowing me to donate to this charity that I hold so important to me. This popular contest is a valuable part of our fundraising campaign, and we're grateful to everyone who takes on the challenge of raising $3,000. But most of the $22 million we've raised to date came from individuals just like you who had the courage to ask for a donation or show up for a cut -a -thon, fashion show, or car wash. We all have the chance to make a difference in people's lives just by coming up with creative ways to raise a few dollars at a time. Maybe you're wondering where you'll find the courage to ask people to support your events, or whether you have the brains to come up with new ideas, or the hearts and passion to take the lead in a fundraising event. Let me ask you a more important question. What will happen if you don't get involved? Make sure your fundraising calendar is ready to go. Tap into the 2021 Fundraising Idea Book. Network with our other Palm Mitchell schools and share your great ideas. Remember, our fundraising campaign is not just about raising money to meet a goal. In fact, if one person wrote out a great big check for the entire $1.5 million, we would still dive in, work hard, and do everything possible to help our charity partners. We're dedicated to this because it's the right thing to do and we want to make a difference. One of my favorite movies is The Wizard of Oz. Near the end of that movie, Dorothy learned an important lesson when the good witch told her she's always had the power, but she had to find it for herself. That's true for each and every one of us. We all have the power to make a difference in this world. It won't be as easy as clicking our heels together, but just like Dorothy, when we look closely at ourselves and the people around us, we're reminded that we all have the courage brains and heart to help us reach our goals. I can't wait to see what you accomplished this year and I can't wait to celebrate with you. Let's get this party started.